<coughs> so in this video uh, let's quickly go over the uh, go over the admin section of uh, go to assist for example if you have to add many users it's just not you uh, for that you click on um, um like and only an admin can do that uh he can go to manage people and devices so you get to here so here's manage user and this one is the add user okay so let's reload this page here all right so basically this over here you can add a user for example if i have to add as aslan aslan and it's aslan at aslan.com so multiple user add another user if multiple uh, you can get their names or email addresses or add another user same thing you get that uh, click it so you want to tell uh, what's this next user is for example you have a team of uh, five or ten agents they all you want all of them to have access to go to assist so you create their account here so you give them first last name uh, do you want to make any of them administrator or not or you are the administrator so only administrator can uh, add more users you can assign groups here example for example two of the guys only deal with the accounting and five of them uh, are for the floor and three of them are for uh another department uh, or for executives or vips and all that so it's groups group wise like you can schedule group comes into play in uh, the dashboard i will show you so all you have to do is click save so insufficient seats because it's a trial version so i can only have one but that that's how you add user if you have a, 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 the full version since i just trial it, we have to go with this this is like user settings for each user you can do the settings you click on their name and then uh, you can change it this is groups all that manage twice groups on uh, you can have the reports pull up uh, from the period date and time admin settings so most like 99 percent of the time if you're not an admin you will not be here this is for uh, only the admins and you see uh, how it's a complete um, history of uh, your account with the, them so I wanted to show you the dashboards this is your dashboard and it has everything over here like you can create a session and that's pretty much it but if you go to session this is when you create a new session add and all that right and this one is the devices if you remember uh, I tried to save the device uh, it didn't let me because it's a trial version but you can save that device so you can have quick access to them uh, rather than to each time tell the user to hey go to that uh, uh, website enter my code and then we get connected if if it's a within an organization you can simply click on the device and then you're connected recording is the one that I wanted to show you and you see that this is the recording and we cannot uh, make it any bigger oh, like uh, I will show you the time it's uh, uh, tonight's uh, tonight at this time we did this if you remember the ses session ID and all that so you can play it either you can play or download so you have the option to download that video or you can play it uh, you are the admin and you have like 20 recording here and one of them was a complaint like hey your agent did this 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 so you can go and review the recording and actually see what happened so this is the for example if i play it you can see this is what we did if you remember this is the windows 7 now and you see it says trial user uh, over there amazon uh, if i can see we can go a little bit back and this is amazon.com the web page and then we click over here you see sign in so so everything got recorded 
so it's uh, like a complete video recording of what was going on and now it's there so it's for you the admin to review it's only for the admins uh, user I am not sure like a user can do that or not um, we cannot do that and since it's a trial version I cannot go create an user and then uh, watch what we have from the user prospect so let's keep it right here and reporting is like just uh, you can actually generate a report for day for a month or for a specific period for example uh, 7 30 90 80 or a year or you can get give a date range <coughs> so these are all the quick reports basically that's it and there's nothing more to it uh, it's pretty neat and pretty small uh, but very effective uh, so let's end this video it's just a quick uh, admin session uh, review I'm gonna, if this video helped you in any way please rate comment share subscribe and you have a good night